Welcome back into Weather Nation. Again, uh, you might notice a bit of a pep in our step meteorologists here. Over the next couple of weeks, we could be picking up a new weather satellite. Joining us here is Brian Hall, NASA Deputy Director of the Geostationary Earth Orbit Observations. Brian, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So let's get right into it. Um, the Goes You mission, that's what it's named, right? What is it? Why is it so important? So GOES-U is the fourth and final in the GOES-R series of satellites. Uh, the GOES-R series is our nation's current geostationary weather satellite systems. Uh, these satellites provide 24-7 imagery and data products that allow us to predict routine weather as well as predict, predict uh, severe weather events. And I hear it's got a new instrument on board. What is that instrument? It's going to be focused on the space weather from the sun. What is it? What does it do? Yes, we're very excited to host the Compact Coronagraph or C-Core. Uh, as you mentioned, it will study the sun. Uh, this will block out the center of the sun to really focus on the outer boundary or the corona of the sun. We're looking at coronal mass ejections, allowing us to predict the magnitude and direction of those because it does have implications in near space to us as well as on Earth. On Earth, those coronal mass ejections can affect things like radio frequency communications, cell phones, GPS systems, as well as our power grids. Uh, in space, it can disrupt satellite communications, even cause damage to satellites, and be harmful to our astronauts who are in space. So this allows us uh, to predict um, the magnitude and direction of those, and we can take some preventative measures uh, to mitigate uh, the impacts of coronal mass ejection. Here in our area, we're particularly concerned about hurricanes and, and storm tracking. Is that going to be able to help us a little more so than what we've got up there already? So the GOES U um, actually extends the GOES R series. It's the same instruments with the exception of the uh, coronagraph. GOES U is actually going to be critical to the East Coast. Once we launch, we're going to check out the satellite um, and the uh, instruments on board, and we'll actually put it into operation as the GOES East satellite next April. So there it will study the Atlantic Basin. That really allows us to see how storm systems are forming off the coast of Africa, see how they progress, so we can look at the intensity and the track of uh, hurricane systems. 